Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Guns Up Review. We're under invasion. It's a British invasion, and we're not talking about the Beatles. So stay tuned, governor. We're going to talk about some British rifles. That was horrible. Okay, thanks. <laughs> Today we're talking about the British 303, the Lee Enfield British 303. Cool, cool, cool bolt guns. Um, these rifles uh, served the British during World War I, World War II. They were made all over the world, really. Um, and really neat bolt guns. They would shoot they were what some of the fastest bolt guns um, to an experienced operator, not me, but a, you know, a, an inf infantryman that had trained on this. These were very, very fast uh, guns. The way these the way these rifles, the bolt springs open, and the way the bolt opens on these, um, kind of a, a cock on close. This is your hammer back here, and you pull the trigger. Of course, that goes forward. Um, Open sights have a, like a, a vernier sight on them. It, in the down position has a ghost ring on it. Um, you know, these are good out to a thousand yards plus. I mean, these are, um, they were very, very accurate rifles and they shot very fast. The thing about these that was different than most bolt guns, most bolt guns were a five round magazine. Whereas this magazine here, which is detachable, will come will come off, is a uh, is a ten round magazine. Um, this is the round that it shoots. This is a uh, it's 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 a little bit smaller than a thirty out six round, so it's a little bit smaller than what an M1 uh, Grand might shoot. Uh, it's a rimmed cartridge um, for the extractor. There you can see uh, the rim on the cartridge. Um, this one is a uh, soft point. This is PPU, pew pew, British ammo. I have no idea where that came from. I mail ordered that from somewhere. But uh, really super accurate rifles. I like these so much that I, I somehow wound up with two of them. I have since traded this one off to um, one of my best buddies. He didn't know it yet, but uh, I, I took his rifle out to the range and we're going to shoot this one at the range and we'll show you exactly how how accurate this is and how well it shoots okay so um really really neat rifles this one is a this is a number four um mark one slash three uh, it has a date on it of 1953 and on the uh, receiver here it's actually stamped u.s property so um this rifle has served who knows where. Who knows where it's been before I got it. Um, the other one, this rifle here, which is uh, in, both of them are just in fantastic, beautiful condition, um, is a number four Mark II F. And uh, it's got a 1954 date on it. Um, I originally thought that these might be refinished, but you know, it still has all of the factory kind of hallmarks on the buttstock and and uh, all the marks in the right place. They're just beautiful rifles. Um, love the wood all the way out to the end of the gun. The sights, they're really nice for an open open sight rifle. Easy to use. Um, they have a on this on the buttstock. Uh, of course, <laughs> this being brass does not help very much on your um, recoil. These things will thump you now. But with it around here, if I can do it, there we go. So you had where you could put a patch kit or a cleaning kit rather in the, um, in the butt stock there. Um, both of those have the same feature. Um, again, detachable magazines. So this, this box magazine would hold 10 rounds which was different than most and it's bigger in the back and than it is in the front of course because it's a uh, it's a rimmed cartridge so it's the cartridge is thicker kind of on that back side and uh, that is the Lee Enfield 303 so how accurate is a 70 year old gun out the range 
<laughs> Sorry about that. Let's uh easy. She wants she wants to go shooting, doesn't she? Let's go out to the range and see. All right, so we're out at the range with the uh, infield British 303. Um, first observations, I put five in the magazine. It loads super easy. It, the spring is super light and they snap into place very positively. So I'm gonna shoot five rounds and let's just see, I've never shot this before. Uh, as you can see, when I close the bolt, the, bolt, the, the gun cocks on bolt close. Um, and so it's a little bit harder to get the bolt to close than it would be on like a uh, Remington uh, rifle. So, let's shoot it five times and see how she does. Alright. Let's see what happens here. I don't think I'd want to shoot this like all day long. Let's see. Number two. Okay, general impressions, the old girl, she's got quite a bit of kick. Let's go down and see if I hit the target. All right, so first time ever to shoot, 100 yards open sights, the old 303. My pattern's pretty big. I got one here, one here, 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 and then one down here. But I'm just gonna count this one shot. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go so, put a fresh target up. I'll thinks be... he can beat the old man again. <laughs> I don't think so. I got one in the middle. It's only <laughs> one, but I got one in the middle. All right, hold okay. on. Okay, five shots, open sights, 100 steps. You gotta beat the old man <laughs> or you'll never hear the end of it. All right, here we go. Let's see if he can do it. She kicks just a little bit, no? All right, how'd you do? Let's see it. Welcome back. It looks like I lost the challenge here. Only four on the paper when I pulled the trigger five times. Grouping on the first two is pretty good. The other ones are not so good. So there you go. A fun day at the range with the old British 303. My thanks to my buddy Kyle. Uh, he's one of my best buddy in the world's son, and we have been hunting and, and shooting together since he was a wee lad. It's fun to see somebody like that that you've worked with, um, you know, grow into a fine young man like he has. Um, so there you go. He didn't say it, but I beat him. <laughs> All right. So we'll see you again next week here on Guns Up Review. Thanks.